today's uh, event is going to be sort of to try to sort of perpetuate that idea of stimulating attitudes of inquiry. Now, it's been my uh, experience that I've given this demonstration in third grade, up to graduate school, and so forth. And one of the things I notice is that about fourth grade, something happens. And although students may have curiosity, it doesn't show anymore. And if I go to third grade class and I ask a question, or I say, do you have any questions? And every kid's hand goes up. But in a graduate class or an undergraduate class, nobody raises their hand, afraid that the question's going to be stupid, or you know, that nobody wants to hear it, or things of that sort. So what I want you to do is to sort of release some of your inhibitions today and to try to uh, resurrect or uh, recover some of that curiosity that you had and to think about what you see and what it means. So I have a quotation on the board by Mary Rothschild which says, being a good observer, that's what she's talking about, means that you not only notice things, but that you think about what you notice. So the thinking about what you noticed is where you generate those questions. So chicken eggs are really remarkable. Maybe you have, I mean, this is a familiar observation that you've had uh, throughout your life. You've seen chicken eggs, but you ever thought about chicken eggs in a way? When, what's in a chicken egg? What's in this chicken egg, do you think? What's it made up of? Matt, what's it made up of? Um, a yolk and egg whites. Okay, yolk and egg whites. Got a shell around it, okay. And what's, what's in the egg, in the yolk? Do you have any idea what? Developing embryo of a chicken. Okay, well, it may have the developing embryo eventually, but um, so the materials that are in there are uh, things that we eat. Why do we eat the chicken eggs? Because it's got nutrients, protein, cholesterol. It's got all those good things that we need to, to, to grow on, and a chicken embryo likewise has to grow on. In fact, when you think about it, it's rather remarkable that all you have to do with this chicken egg is stick it in an incubator at 99 degrees in an oxygenated environment at, uh, I guess it's 99 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that, and you wait 21 days, and out pops a, a chick. All of that, all the things that are necessary for that chick embryo to develop are pre-packaged, so to speak, in this egg. So a lot of what my research was about was how do those things biochemically get into chicken eggs. 